Hi guys, May 26th, and I'm going to do an update of what's going on in my hydroponic greenhouse. And as you can see, here's a photo from last month. And what a difference uh, four or five weeks weeks does, huh? So everything's going really good and couldn't be happier. This side here is the side I got um, tomato plants grown in, coca core and perlite. And I'm really, really happy with the coca core. It just, uh, it's doing really, really well, but just lagging a little behind the DWC, as you can see. But still doing awesome all right first step is the aroma this plant's doing really well as you can see the roots are looking really really good so really happy with this plant this first time i'm growing it in dwc and here's a photo from last month's root growth so, so this last month it's uh it really exploded and i couldn't be happier so uh hopefully we can get some good, good sized paste tomatoes out of this this here is my davidson tomato sent to me by lee davidson and this plant is just doing awesome, just really taking off. You can see there's a photo from last month, and it just really exploded the last four or five weeks. Really happy that I'm um, getting really good growth, lots of flowers now, and I uh, actually got my first tomato set. And overall, the plant looks really healthy. Prune down the lower leaves and uh, check out these roots. Darn near perfect. This plant is doing really, really well in the DWC here. You guys remember the, the little pig from last month? Well, guess what? He's not so little anymore. So, take a look at that. Take a look at this big boy. Nice big old stem and just really taken off. So, a little discouraged at first, but this guy, uh, I think it's got some problems to him. I'm hoping to get some really good sized tomatoes out, out of him. Some tomato plants seem to do better than others in hydroponics, and this one is one of them. This is the Select's Determinant bush type. You can see my first tomato growing on there, but um, these little bushy guys, last year I was getting about 20, 25 pounds per plant, and look at those roots, darn near perfect. But really happy with this plant, and I'll be growing this for years to come. Here's a Davidson tomato plant um, that I have grown in Coca Car, and it's doing really, really well, just uh, lagging a little behind his brother there in the DWC, but overall, this Coca Car, uh, really happy with it. Next up is the Super Steak. I've never grown this uh, variety before, but it's doing, looking really, really good. Get some good flower growth. Haven't had any issues with this one, but overall, it seems to be a pretty good looking plant. Right here is the Brandywine. This one's doing really well, but I'm having some leaf issues, and I'll, sh I'll show some a few close-ups of that later. Well, with summer coming, the weather's starting to warm up, and the last few days we've had 70 75 degree days beautiful days but with that said my new greenhouse is reaching temps temps up to 110 degrees so I'm gonna show you some of the things that came up with to cool it down this is a thermal cube and basically all it is is a thermostat plug-in adapter and it comes on at 78 degrees and turns off at 70 so I got it for, got it for right around $15 there on Amazon but um, this is just a temporary fix I got going on so I just have it my fan plugged into it and then uh, so far it's doing pretty good. Well anyways last week I watched a video from Keith, uh, Key Player 61 and he did a do-it-yourself, uh, what was it called, evap cooler for the greenhouse. And, uh, that's something I really want to do but this year I really don't have the time. But I'm definitely going to do it next year and this is also I came up with this automatic uh, window opener and it opens and closes by itself and no power needed. I have no idea how it works but uh, it works. Well now on warm sunny, sunny days the um, temperature in the greenhouse is staying right around 80 degrees so that's right where I want it. Well I showed you the good now here's the bad and the ugly and this is the brandy wine tomato and like I was saying earlier I'm running into some type of blight um, mold type issues here. Um, never had this problem before. This um, I've had two plants get really hit really hard this year so I'm going to show a few close-ups of what's going on here. Well I tried spraying these down with water and baking soda and uh, I don't know if it, it kind of slowed down a little bit but basically I'm just going to end up uh, pruning those leaves off all together. And this is a cherry tomato it also got hammered and I just got done pruning uh, quite a few branches off, off this poor guy but yeah, so I'm not real sure if anybody got any suggestions. Uh, I think the cherry tree just might be toast. Alright, in a second here I'm going to show a few uh, a few photos, close-ups of uh, 
to leave, so if anybody has any idea what I'm kind of running into, uh, just drop me a line, and, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. All right, well, here's my poor cherry tree. This poor guy is getting uh, getting his butt kicked a little bit. But basically, you can see right there, I've pruned quite a few of the branches. And those are the only two tomatoes I got growing. Um, a lot of the flowers, I've been getting a lot of flowers, and they've been all falling off. But this, uh, I'm going get, to get ready to show you a close up of what I got going on here. So hang on. Now, with this cherry plant, basically, what's going on is the branches look, look really healthy, and then all of a sudden, the tips to start rotting off, almost dying right there. And it's been happening all over the plant, so I pruned the heck out of this thing. I sprayed down with uh, baking soda and water. So if anybody knows if there's a cure, what to do with this, or do I just need to cut it and toss it, uh, just let me know. And as always, thanks again for taking the time to watch a comment, and you guys, all take care, thanks.